it looks like we're stuck with Iris for the time being. Yes, it looks that way. But she's not staying with us, is she? No, no, she's getting her phone room at the wagon wheel. Okay, so we only have to deal with her if it's absolutely necessary. Well, I think she's being sincere and really trying to turn her life around. She's got a lot of proving to do for me to believe that. Hey. Hey. Hey, Anne. Hi. That's a really beautiful bracelet. I've had it a long time. It's Barbara's. Uh, an owner of a shop in town actually found it earlier. Does that mean that Barbara's in Oakdale? Seems that way. I think we need more ice. What's wrong with her? She was supposed to bring that bracelet home and show Paul and me, and instead she threw it in the garbage. You're kidding. No, and the only reason she still has it is because Paul caught her. Anybody want a drink? Uh, no, actually, we, um, we're gonna go get Hallie because she's getting up from her nap soon. Yeah, she never sleeps for very long. Hey. Where are they going? Huh? They're looking for a private place to talk. Talk about what? To talk about how they don't trust me and how they think that I kidnapped your mother. First of all, Will and Gwen don't hate you. Will's just freaking out because he's really worried about what's happening with Vaughn. I, I admire you defending him like that. It's nice. And you're his brother. You should. But I know what they're thinking. They're thinking you have something to do with what's going on with Barbara. Yes. Well, you might help yourself by not being so openly thrilled that she's missing. All right, fine. I will, I will try to contain myself. But that's not really the point here. What is the point? Gwen. Gwen has held on to this grudge for years about what happened to her baby. Well, really, can you blame her? No. I don't blame her. What I did was horrible. I did a horrible thing. What we did was, was horrible. I was just as complicit in that as you, if not more so. But they, I feel, have found a way to forgive me. And I'm sure they'll forgive you, too. No, they won't. They, they forgave you because you're family. I'm not family. You're my wife. That makes you family. No, that makes me an in-law. I'm an in-law. They don't have to love me. They certainly don't have to trust me. Well, maybe they would if you gave them a chance. Why should I when they never will? Can you dial back the negativity just a little bit? Emily, really, this is a tough time for everybody. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Um, I'll try. Okay. Can we go now, hon? All right, this, this is pointless. Just let me look in the clock. What the hell are you two doing here? She wandered in here and we followed her. Um, why don't you take her back down to her room? So Hallie came into my room, wandered right to my dresser drawer. She's a little girl, and she likes to play dress up. Looked to me like you and your wife were snooping around. Why would we be snooping? What's there to find? Nothing. Nothing. But that doesn't keep you from being suspicious of me, now does it, Well, When you're acting kind of nervous, Emily. That's because I don't like it when people walk into my bedroom without asking. We, we didn't come in here with... She, we came to get Hallie. Gwen just told you that. You're a really lousy liar. It's a wonder you got away with murder as long as you did. That's, uh... You don't have to go there. Okay, exactly. What did you think you were going to find? Well, a bloody glove or a ropes that I used to, to tie up Barbara when I kidnapped her? Do you still have them? For the last time, I had nothing to do with her disappearance. Then why'd you throw the bracelet away, Emily? I already explained that, Yeah, well. I know. It was a knee-jerk response. You didn't know what you were thinking. Paul bought that because he's your husband, but I don't. Okay, well, you, you know what? Maybe, maybe this will help. Let's see. Is there anything in here? No. Nothing in here. Well, let's check this door. Nothing in here either, is there? Let's check behind the bed. Maybe there's something here, Will. Can you find anything? Well, Emily! Emily, stop. You've got this all wrong. No, you do. You... You are so determined to pin this disappearance on me, and don't think I don't know why. I have no idea what you're talking about. You've never forgiven me for what happened to your baby, have you? No, that's not what this is about. Why are you freaking out, Emily? Because I'm sick and tired of being accused by the two of you. I'm sick to death of it. Hey, what's going on here? No, I'll tell you what's going on. I'm being treated like I'm a criminal in my own house. I can explain. Yeah, you do that, Will. You do that. You tell your brother the truth. You tell him that you broke into my bedroom and you're looking for evidence against me. Is that true? 
Yes. We just talked about this. Well, I, I thought we had an understanding. And then Emily started acting suspicious. That, again. Is, re that is ridiculous. If I'm acting out of the ordinary, it's because the two of you are acting like you're going to go to the police and have me arrested. Why is that so scary to you, man, if you got nothing to hide? Because I don't feel like being railroaded for a crime I didn't and wouldn't commit, and that's exactly what okay. you're trying to Everyone, do. Everyone, please, that is enough. Yeah, you're damn right that is enough. I am sick and tired of being treated guilty for something I didn't do, and I won't, I won't stand for it, not in my own house. That went well. And will you come oh, I can't stand this. Please. Will and Gwen are so sure that I'm guilty, and no matter what I say to them, they're not backing down. Fine, I'll talk to them. Why? Don't waste your breath. They're not going to change their minds. They believe I'm guilty. Emily, listen, uh, we're really sorry we went in your room. We we crossed the line, and we shouldn't have done that. But you got to admit, Emma, everything you've been doing today seemed pretty suspicious, starting with throwing away the bracelet. Did it ever occur to you that I'm acting the way I am because I am as rattled as you are as to what's going on in this house? If you didn't hate my mother so much, I'd believe that, but you do. I'm going to get that. I would really like it if nobody tore anybody's heads off while I was gone. Maybe we're all just overreacting a little. Yeah, I'm. look, I'm sorry. I was so suspicious. No, you're not. It's not about suspicion. You've never forgiven me for lying to you and making you think Johnny was your baby when your baby was really dead. No. I'll never forget that. But you're the one who keeps bringing it up, not me. So maybe you haven't forgiven yourself. Can, can we please just focus on what's going on right now? This is not what's important. What's important is my mom's disappearance. You mean focus on blaming me for it? No, I mean focus on figuring out what actually happened to her. You may not have to figure anything out. The messenger just dropped this off. It's for mom.